Hello everyone, welcome to Sam IELTS YouTube channel. How are you all? I hope that you are super fine and seriously preparing your English exam. Alright, today's topic is all about the adjectives. Well, while you are learning any new language, especially English, you need to understand to describe anything. How to describe anything using adjectives? Alright, first of all, you need to understand what is a noun. Because adjectives are the describing words to describe a noun or a pronoun. So what is a noun? Basically, the noun is a name, place, thing or animal. So whatever you find under this category is called as noun. Well, you need to understand there are two types of nouns. Countable noun and uncountable noun. What is called as countable noun? What you can count is called as a countable noun. For example, 5 laptops, 6 pens. 7 erasers. So what you can count is called as the countable noun. And what is called as the uncountable noun. The liquids cannot be counted. Water, oil, the atmosphere, gas cannot be counted. Oxygen, nitrogen, you cannot count all these things. The information cannot be counted. A piece of information, you cannot say one information or two information. So, this is called as the countable noun as well as the uncountable nouns. So, what is called as adjectives then? So, the word which actually describes the nouns, either it may be a countable noun or uncountable noun is called as the adjectives. Let me give you a few examples for this. So, the thing is that big elephant, small fox, clever fox. So, these are called as the adjectives. Any word which comes in front of the noun is called as the adjective. So, what are the types of adjectives and how to use these adjectives? Let's look on into this. First of all, you need to understand, you can give any of your opinion. For example, unusual, lovely, beautiful. She is such a beautiful girl. Well, that was an unusual incident. So, the thing is that when you want to express your opinion, that is called as the adjective. The order of the adjectives should be taken care of. First of all, I will tell you what are the adjectives, what are all the types of adjectives and then I will give you the order of adjectives. Right. First of all, opinion. That is what I had discussed right now. The second thing that you want to understand is that size. Big, small. So these are called as the size. A big elephant. A tiny ant. These are called as the size, describing the size, which comes under adjectives. The third thing is called as the physical quality. For example, thin. She is so thin. She is so chubby. So, describing the physical features, that is also called as the adjective. She is such a thin, beautiful girl. Clear? Right. The next thing you can actually discuss about the shape round square the laptop is actually rectangle the rectangular laptop you can use this are you clear with this you can describe the size or the, you can describe the shape of that and you can describe the age see she is 40 years old it is a young child so you can actually say young old 40 years. You can specify the age also. So the thing is that you can actually use these age related terms in order to express your ideas very clearly to the next person. See in conversation while you use adjectives the opposite person can understand your opinion very clearly. For example sometimes you may at loss of words. That time you can explain describe an object. Suppose, for example, you are at a loss of word called as key. How to say that? I want the object which really helps me to open the door. So, to open the door, what you will use? It is the key. So, adjective always plays a very important role in learning English language. Clear? Alright. So, the next thing is that you can actually specify the color. Blue, red, spotty, you know, you can describe all the features. She wore a red spotty dress. 
What do you mean by spotty? The dress which has spots. You call it as polka. Right? So the thing is that you can actually specify the color. The color of anything. Right? The next thing you can actually use the origin. Origin. What do you mean by origin? I use a laptop which is of Italian origin. So you can specify the origin where it comes from. There may be several origins. European, Dutch, French, Indian. You know, there are several origins available. So the thing is that these adjectives actually explain a noun very clearly to the other person which really helps you to make your English as a proficient. And I already told you that you need to use certain order. What is the order? I will explain you. Please take a pen and paper and make a note of this order because this order plays a crucial role in making your sentence with more and more clarity. Clear? Alright. So the thing is that first one opinion, second one size, third one physical appearance or physical quality, fourth one shape, Fifth one, age. Sixth one, color. Seventh one, origin. There are several other things that you can actually use is called as the material. What do you call as material? It is made up of wood. It is made up of plastic, whatever it is. The material which is used to describe that you can actually tell. The next thing is that type. See, the thing is that it is a U-shaped key or it is a U-shaped magnet. So the thing is that you can actually express the type, right? Next thing is that purpose. What is called as purpose? Suppose if you want a ladle and you don't know the word, you can say the stick which I use for cooking. What do you mean by the stick which you use for cooking? It is a ladle, right? It cannot be a pan, neither it cannot be a plate. So the thing is that it is a ladle. So you can actually use these adjectives to replace any words if you really loss of words also even if you know the words if you use adjectives in front of the words that would be great because the opposite person can really clearly understand what you are looking at what you are speaking about and they will give you the answers very perfectly so these adjectives will also be very helpful while writing an essay or while writing a letter which means if you write this letter or if you write the essay using this adjective this would really help you it was a yummy biryani yummy delicious so the thing is that you need to learn a lot of adjectives related to this so what do you need to learn you need to learn adjective which really helps you clear so, while writing and speaking English, you need to learn about the adjectives and these adjectives will really help you to clear your English exam. Also, these adjectives will help you to make your English language speaking more proficient. In Sam IELTS, we are helping people to clear the English exams, especially IELTS. IELTS is the International English Language Test System. If you really want to go abroad, and being struck with the kind of English and you have fear about the English, please never get worried. Just log in to www.samielts.in or a team WhatsApp number 9043140844 so that we can provide you a free demo along with the counseling session. Are you clear with this? If you really like this video, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. Also, please share this video to the person who are really willing to learn English for professional usage. Clear? Thank you.